In this video, I'll show you how to create a countdown timer for longer than one minute in PowerPoint. In my earlier video, I showed you how to create a simple one minute countdown timer in PowerPoint and it looks like this. And the way it works is on a click, I have each of these numbers vanishing so that by the time all the 60 circles with numbers vanish, you have one minute counted down. So that is how the simple countdown timer works. Now you cannot have the same technique applied to create countdown timers for longer than one minute. That is, let us say you want to have just 10 circles and say each of these circles animates for say one minute and therefore by the time all the 10 circles are done, you have 10 minutes counted down. No, that doesn't work that way. The reason is the maximum duration that is allowed for any custom animation is capped at 59 seconds. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go to a new slide and let us see how much uh, is the maximum duration that we can apply animation for. Let us select this shape. Let us go to uh, one of the custom animations here. It is exit animation and we have wheel animation. If you remember in the earlier one, each of these animations is for a duration of one second. And that is the reason why by the time the 60 seconds are done, you have one minute counted. Whereas in this case, if I want to say, I want to have this animation happen for 60 seconds, I can type 60 seconds here. However, the maximum is limited to 59 seconds. So that means I cannot have a countdown timer which uh, counts for 60 seconds for each and then it goes all the way down because the limitation is 59 seconds. So what is the workaround? What is the way out of this situation and how can you create countdown timers that are longer than one minute? That is what I'm going to show in this video. The simple workaround to create a countdown timer for longer than one minute is to create slides that are of this nature. Let us say I want to create a three minutes countdown timer. Then for each of the minutes, I'm going to have one slide created. So let me go to the slide sort of view. This is three minutes left indicator, two minutes left, and the last minute is going to be the traditional countdown timer, which goes from 60 to one second. Now let us say I want to have a 10 minute countdown timer. I'll say 10 minutes left, nine minutes left and so on. So I keep on doing and for the last minute, I'm going to replace with this simple countdown timer. So that is the basic setup. The way that we are going to proceed with this is we are going to start with this and instead of using the custom animation, we are going to use the power of transitions to move from one slide to the next instead of one slide element to the next. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here we have the first slide which says three minutes left. Let me go to transitions and I'm going to say the transition is say fade or whatever animation that I want to, whatever transition I want to have. So let us say uh, wipe transition. And this one is going to happen after, and this is a very important one. I'm going to click here which says after, and here I can write 60 seconds. And 60 seconds is automatically calculated as one minute. And now after one minute, this slide is going to move automatically or advance automatically to the next slide. And here again, I'm going to check this and I'm going to say 60 seconds, which is again one minute. And after that, it automatically goes into this one. And here you go to the animations and open the animation pane. And here, instead of starting on click, you say start with previous. So that is what we are going to do. Now see the way that it is going to work. Now when you show this, you have three minutes left and this slide is going to stay for 60 seconds. And as soon as 60 seconds are over, you will move to this slide, which is the next slide, which says two minutes left. And once the 60 seconds are over on this slide, it automatically moves to this one where the countdown begins from 60 to one. So that way you will have a beautiful countdown timer for as long as you want. And you can replace this with anything different. Let's say for example, instead of saying three minutes left as text, you can always write three colon zero zero so that it can look aesthetically more pleasing. How you make your slides look is up to you, but then the way the slides work is like the way that I showed you. This way you can have countdown timers for as much duration as you want. Even if you want to have say 
one hour or 50 minutes or 30 minutes you can have any type of a countdown timer so i hope you understood how this countdown timer works and how we overcome the limitation of 59 seconds cap for any animation duration hey are you looking for an easy to follow comprehensive and creative powerpoint training online do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this chart slides like this infographics like this 3d graphics like this or in general beautiful slides like this this or this then please join our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery membership program it is arguably the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training online you get instant access to more than 650 step by step video tutorials more than 225 text based lessons and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.